Hi, I'm Kate and I make junk journals and today we're going to make this double envelope page. First of all, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and commenting. I have been overwhelmed by how much love and support that I felt. Most of you came from Gail when she mentioned me in her YouTube channel. Thank you so much, Gail. For the very few people who didn't come from there, I'll put her link in my description so you can check her out because she is awesome. I'm also going to try to be better at giving you guys these resources, so look in the description for several links of some of the stuff I used or things you might have questions about. And thanks for your questions! I'm going to start doing little Q&As at the end of the videos, so make sure if you have any questions, comment below and I'll post them in a future video. This tutorial today was a request by Claire Jones, so thanks for your request, Claire. So today we're not going to look at another one and duplicate it for two reasons. One, I have made this so many times I have it memorized and I don't need to look at a template. Also, I don't have any junk journals to look at because I sold them all, which I'm super excited about. So here's the page we did last time and we're just going to flip it over and do the back side. Once again, this is a 10 by 7 piece of paper folded in half to make a 5 by 7. And all we need to start out is two envelopes that are smaller than this paper. Okay, so we're going to touch these little corners together and then we're just going to see how that would fold and we want to make sure that we have a little bit of room on each side and I want them a little bit closer together so that I just have a tiny bit peeking out there. Something like that and then I'm going to hold that there, maybe mark it a little, oh, that doesn't work maybe mark it with a little pencil so I see about where I have that. Then I can get my glue. I always use either Beacon 3-in-1 or Beacon Fabri-Tac. And I'll have a link in the description below for this glue because a couple of you asked me about it. So we'll dab a little bit on that side and just kind of line that up about where we had it before and push it on there and let that dry. So I'm gonna want something to glue on the top of that. Sometimes I've done a little envelope, a little pocket, a little just piece of paper to write on. But my very favorite thing is when it's something like this that has like a border or something cute that you can write on that kind of frames this whole thing up really nice. This is something I got from my friend Gwen Offit. She has an Etsy shop where she sells so many cute things. This is just a tiny little handful of her ephemera pack that I got. She has like random mystery bags so you don't know what you're gonna get but they're always cute and I love this style. Lately, I've been really drawn to like scrapbooky, cutesy, bright, and happy. That's probably because last year, pretty much all I did was vintage books, and I'm just tired of tans and browns. Also, she sells little paper packs of journaling cards, and I love using these as well. So anyway, I highly recommend, and I'll put her link in the description. Okay, where was I? So we're going to glue this on. So gluing this is a little bit complicated because we don't want it to go in that empty space. So how I do it is I glue the middle. So after I kind of have a good middle, I will then glue the outside of this side. So that way that part will cover the middle and this will make sure these edges get it. And I'm hoping that the two of them working together will have this on nice and secure. Okay, so we're going to turn this whole thing into a belly band. So we're going to just glue these two strips right here and stick it on. And we're just going to put that down sort of in the center. And then I always try to slightly go toward the edge of the book and away from the spine, just slightly off centered. Okay, so now the basic structure is just two envelopes that open up right here. And then this is a tuck. So let's just grab one of these cute cards, round off the corners. Then I'll just dust these edges with ink with that Tim Holtz weathered wood ink. So let's slip this tag right behind all of that. So we'll just take a journaling card and slip it in there. And then I think I'm gonna take a piece of little notebook paper and fold it some way that will fit in here. There we go. And we'll slip that and we'll slip that in there like that. Now there's a couple other things we can do. We can leave it as it is or we can add more. 
and I'm pretty sure we all know the answer to that. So let's check out all this real estate we still have. We've got all this, all that, all this, and all that. And we could probably even think of some more things, but let's not get too carried away here. So I usually don't do much to the insides. Sometimes I'll add like a little strip and make a little band or pocket or something there. But this can get pretty bulky pretty fast. So let's just keep it a little bit simple. I'm gonna grab this cute paper and we'll cut off this orange strip. Because let's face it, orange is the ugliest color. I have a theory that people who love orange just want to like orange to be different because can anyone really love orange? All right, so I don't want to use up the whole page because I like the fact that this is plenty of writing space. So I'm just going to make a small pocket at the bottom and we're just going to kind of make it a little bit smaller than the envelope. Snip it off. There we go. Let's dust these edges with ink. Okay, so I'm going to grab my glue and just do the sides and bottom to make a pocket. And we press that on just like that and we have a little pocket. And we'll stick that right here. Ta-da! Then we're going to do something with this. I think I'll just do a little tuck in the corner. So put that right here, glue the bottom and the side. And we'll line that up in the corner, giving a tiny, tiny little border, just barely. And stick a little card right there. And that's it. It's actually super simple, but it looks really complicated and there are so many layers. So we have this little cute thing to write on, this cute little tag, lots of writing space here. Open it up, writing space here, cute little tag, little pocket. And then we open up, we could write here, we can write here. And then we have this card to write on. And then we have these two, this journaling card and this notebook paper. Notepad paper, mind paper, and that's it. Super cute and you can do it in a million different styles in every single journal. All right, and that completes our whole second page. Next time we're gonna start on our last page and after we've completed that one, I'm gonna show you how I put them all together, make a cover and sew in and finish my junk journal. Thanks so much for crafting with me today. Thank you for your comments, I really appreciate them. If you have any questions or requests, please let me know. See you later, friends.